Praise the Lord, people of God. This time also, we are privileged to be alive, and therefore we want to exalt God. We want to magnify the Lord. We want to make Him glorious. He is already glorious before because we have seen His creation and what He is in us. Amen. He is our eternal life. So we want to exalt this great and mighty God who forgives us all our sins and clothe and crown us with loving kindness. So let us exalt Him. Begin to exalt God Almighty wherever you are in Jesus' name. Amen. Great and mighty God, everlasting Father, we say we thank you, we bless your holy name. We magnify you, O Lord. We magnify you, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's none that can be compared unto you. My Lord, my God, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We exalt your holy name. We exalt your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We exalt we thank you, we exalt you, we magnify you, we magnify you in the name of Jesus. There's none that can be compared unto you. You are the Alpha and Omega. We exalt you. You are Yahweh, Jesus. We say we, ex we exalt you. There's none that can be compared unto you. You are our salvation. You are our substitute on the cross. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Exodus 15, verse 11. Exodus 15 verse 11. It says, Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? So there's none like the God we serve, the Lord God, the creator of heaven and earth. There's none like, there's none among the gods. All things that claim to be gods, there's none like the God we serve. Because he, uh, because he's majestic in holiness and other gods are not like that. He is unique in what? holiness, awesome in glory and working miracles. So our God is uncomparable. This morning, may you have the privilege in the Holy Spirit to exhort him. Words of your mouth, let it come from your heart this morning and exhort him. Give him the glory in the name of Jesus. There's not like this God. There's not like the creator of heaven and earth. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There's none that can be compared unto him. He formed the heavens and he created the earth. Out of the water he called forth. He measures the earth of he measures the length of the earth. He carries the sun of the earth in a basket. Who is this great God that can be compared to? There's none that can be compared unto him. He is what? Majestically holiness. He is majestic in holiness. Awesome in working miracles. There's none like this God. Let us exalt him. Let us exalt him. Let us magnify him. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. We thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you. We bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. There's none that can be compared unto you. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Alpha and Omega. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. Amen. Amen. Your praises and worship has been heard. Amen. Your praises and worship is like a sweet fragrance in the, in the nostrils of our God and our maker. Through the name and the blood of Jesus, our worship is acceptable unto our living God. Amen. This morning, we want to hear the word of God, people of God. So may you prepare yourself your mind, your spirit, and your soul. Amen? Because the Lord is coming to flourish you, is coming to nourish you with his word. Yes, your soul needs the word of God as nourishment, as food, to, 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 to be glorified so that your soul will have peace and live at peace with himself in this body. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Um, Hallelujah. Amen. The theme that, sorry, the topic for today is come to the living God who gives you eternal life. Hallelujah. Come to the living God who gives you eternal life. Praise the name of the living God. Every soul on this planet earth needs to have what? Eternal life. Hallelujah. And therefore, there's only one person 
one person, one God, the creator of heaven and earth, the one who formed and created it, created us, he's the only one that can give us eternal life because we were in him eternally when he formed and then put this uh, spirit and soul in this body. So let us um, reach out to the word of God and let the word of God speak to our soul. Hallelujah. This morning, may your soul find peace, gladness, flourishness, nourishment in his word in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, let's turn our Bibles to Isaiah 55 verse 1. Isaiah 55 verse 1. I read. It says, Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a great calling of God Almighty through prophet Isaiah. And is the same calling of our Lord Jesus Christ when he called and said, Come and drink. Hallelujah. So let us attend to the, 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 the proclamation of Isaiah. So the prophet Isaiah proclaimed the word of God. Come, all who are thirsty, come to the waters. All you who have no money, come and buy and eat. Hallelujah. So, according to this passage, God is call, calling everyone who is thirsty for eternal life. Everyone who is thirsty for eternal life. Everyone who is hungry for eternal life. The flesh itself does not thirst and hunger for eternal life. But the real you who is in this body, who is a spirit and a soul, test for eternal life because the soul and the spirit was eternal uh, person before he came into this body. Therefore, our soul and spirit test for eternal life. And because of the fall, the soul is deprived of the joy of eternal life. Eternal happiness, eternal gladness, eternal flourishness. The soul is deprived because of our fallen nature. But yet, by the grace of God, God is calling through the voice of his prophet, the voice of his pastor, and he's calling even today, Come, come, all who is thirsty for eternal life. Amen? So, your soul must be thirsty for eternal life as your soul thirsts for water. As a man, as a person, test for water. You know, this generation, we have everything in abundance. So we really don't feel um, the edge of test. You know, when you are on the wilderness, you are on a desert, and you don't have water, then you feel and know how it is to be tasty for water. Because your life depends on that water. If you don't get water on the desert, you will die. So... For eternal salvation, you must test, you must hunger for eternal hot salvation. So the calling is for all who hunger and who test for eternal salvation. So your soul must test, your soul must be hungry for eternal salvation. Amen. Amen. So God is calling everyone who is testing for eternal life to come and drink. As a living water. Amen? One, if you are thirsty, if you are thirsty and you cannot find water, you will die. Two, if you are thirsty and you have found water and you don't have money to buy, you will still die. Amen? So, God knowing this, he is calling all humanity who are thirsty for eternal life, for eternal salvation, Life after death, he is calling them to come and buy without paying for it. Because if you have, if you don't have money and you have gotten water, you still die because you cannot pay for it. But yes, the God knowing that he is calling everyone should come and take it for free. So you are buying it without money. Praise the name of the living God. 
Amen. Amen. Because eternal life cannot be bought with money. Amen. You cannot buy an infinite life with money. So the condition for all humanity is the same here. Hallelujah. You must desire. So what you used to buy, this eternal life, life in God, to live eternally in heaven with God, you must come with your will. You must come with your desire. You must come with what? With a test, with a hunger. Let your soul hunger after God. Let your soul test after God. Oh God, the creator of heaven and earth. I am tested to live eternal, eternally as you are living. So that is the condition for every man. Because if it is uh, money that we used to buy, the rich people will even buy the abundance of eternal life and there is not going to be any for the poor person. So God in his wisdom has made the way for all people the same. Come, you have to be hungry. Come, you have to be thirsty. Come, you have to be desirous after eternal life. Then you quench your thirst. You quench your soul with loving kindness, with compassion, with grace, and with eternal life. So whilst you live in this earth, whilst you live in this body, you will experience eternal salvation through the name and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the experience of believers. Whilst we live on earth, we experience eternal life in this body. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So he continued to say, <clears throat> Come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. What is this wine and milk stand for? Amen. So in the olden days, when a king put a feast, for instance, um, Esther chapter 2 verse 18 and then Daniel chapter 5. When, king, when the king uh, threw a banquet or a festival, he invites all people. And when all people are invited, there is a party of what? Merry making wishes. They have a wine in abundance. They have water in abundance. They have milk in abundance. And the, the, the milk nourishes the body and the wine is gladness to uh, to the person. So the same applies to our salvation. When your soul, your spirit receives the Lord Jesus Christ, it gives him that gladness as wine gives to the body. It gives flourishness to the body as milk gives flourishness to the body. So when you accept this divine, eternal grace eternal salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ, your soul is happy. Your soul is uh, full of gladness as wine intoxicates a person in the flesh. So your soul is into intoxicated with what? Eternal gladness in this body. And the way milk flourishes the body, the same thing you feel flourish, nourish by the word of God and by the eternal word of God that saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, God is calling. He's calling to the living water. Amen. He's calling to the living water. This blessing refreshes as water refreshes the thirsty and it gives gladness like wine and nourishes our body like milk. Hallelujah. However, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, this eternal salvation is for free. This eternal salvation is for free. How? You see, on this earth, we have prizes on things. We have, we have placed value on things. Gold has value. Diamond has value. Food has value. Water has value. These are the value we place on things. But not forgotten, where did we pick this item? We pick gold from the ground, under the ground. Diamond from under the ground. Food comes from the ground. Everything we are putting price, a price on comes from the ground. And we don't even know the worth of it. We place value on them. Hallelujah. And they have, these things have what? Earthly values. 
they don't have eternal values so eternal salvation has heard eternal value and therefore we cannot pay it in the flesh you cannot use money you cannot use diamond to buy eternal salvation you cannot do that that is why god himself became man in the person of jesus christ and has paid for the things that pertain to eternal salvation so your internal salvation is already paid for so you you have to just come and receive the one who gives eternal salvation and you will enjoy eternal salvation hallelujah so eternal salvation you cannot put price on it any man and woman who tells you come and pay some money to receive eternal salvation it is not done it is not like that you cannot pay with physical money so it's a free gift of god through the lord jesus christ that you must receive with thanksgiving you must receive with arm open and appreciate him and please him whilst you live on the uh, uh, whilst you live in the land of the living praise the name of the living god hallelujah that is why god is calling all humanity he's calling every soul because all humanity has fallen short of the righteous standard of god we are followed below we are falling below so the calling is unabated the calling is is unabated come all you will hear the word of god come to the lord jesus christ and you will be saved it is free it is indeed free because we human beings cannot put value on God's salvation. Otherwise, you are buying God and you cannot buy God. He created everything. So how? what are you going to use to buy him? Nothing. So my brothers and sisters in the Lord, people of God, all humanity, God Almighty is calling through the Lord Jesus Christ. Come and receive eternal salvation. So this morning, whilst you are listening to me, you are listening to the voice of Jesus Christ. He is calling and calling unabatedly. Hallelujah. Come to me. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is the fountain of living waters. Jesus is calling. I am the source of all life. Come and drink me. Hallelujah. Come to the stream that makes glad the city of God. You have to come, hallelujah, to the stream that make glad the city of God. Come to the healing waters. Praise the name of the living God. You must come to the healing waters of Jesus Christ. John 7 verse 37. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is still calling. He so loves you. He doesn't want you to perish in your sin. Because as a human being, you cannot atone for your sin you cannot work out righteousness without the divine help so the divine help is the blood of jesus christ the name of jesus christ that is why you must receive jesus you must receive jesus into your heart it is free it is free gift you have to accept it amen somebody will ask why can't the lord just rescue or and save everyone just like that you understand when you give a child hundred dollars if you give my daughter a one year old hundred dollars she will laugh at you she will play with it she will tear it into pieces she will spit on it and then dump it somewhere because she doesn't value the money amen so you two you have to come to the lord valuing the eternal salvation how you must test for it you must hunger for it and you must come with your desire to live eternally Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Please let us read John 4, verse 10 to 14. John 10. John 4, sorry, John 4, verse 10 to 14. Amen. I read. Please, in your private time, read the whole passage. Amen. Amen. To get more understanding. Okay. Jesus talked with the Samaritan woman. That is the topic. The verse 10. Jesus answered her. If you knew the gift of God. And who it is. That asks you for a drink. Let us pause there. If you knew the gift of God. So Jesus Christ. Always remember. Jesus. The body of Jesus Christ. Is the body God created for himself to come and to come in the flesh 
all the time, remember this. God, when wanted to become flesh, he created a body for himself. And this body referred to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Have that at the back of your mind. Let us read. If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink. So who is asking for the lady for a drink? God in the flesh. Praise the name of the living God. He continued. You would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Praise the name of the living God. Please jump to the verse 13. Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. Anyone who drinks the water we have on the planet Earth will be thirsty again. You have to go and drink all the time that you are thirsty. It is like that. But whoever drinks the water I give, who is the I? God in the flesh, the water Jesus gives, will never test again. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water willing up to eternal life. Praise the name of the living God. This is the mystery revealed in the flesh. How God saved the souls and saved humanity. He offered himself as a living sacrifice that all who will receive him all who receive him have to be thirsty because you don't drink water when you are not thirsty. You don't eat when you are not hungry. Therefore, your soul must be hungry for eternal life. Your soul must be hung, must be thirsty for what? Eternal life. Then you come and the Lord Jesus Christ will give himself to you to be eaten and to be drunk because he is the word. The word is food for the soul. And he is the eternal what, living water, and which is the spirit of God. So when you receive the word, you receive the spirit, then you will live as much as the Lord lives. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. So my people of God, give your life completely to Jesus. That is it. There's no master or Lord Jesus Christ with but, but, but no. You have to give your life completely to Jesus. And let all humanity come to Jesus for their eternal salvation. In fact, it is by grace that we have been called. We Christians did not automatically jump to become Christian. You will testify with me that you, did, you didn't just come by accepting it like that. It was an internal, invisible longing, desire to have God. And God, supernaturally, through grace, has drawn you from this world into his world. Marvelous kingdom. The kingdom of life and the kingdom of light and the kingdom of what? Eternal life. That is why we are called followers of Jesus Christ. It is by grace. Therefore, the same grace is abounding now, inviting people humanity to come and receive Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Amen. So the condition remained the same. Hunger and thirst for righteousness. For it is written, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Matthew 5 verse 6. Hallelujah. It means, Happy is any soul that desire and thirst for doing what is right. Every soul that desire and test after doing what is right, that soul is happy. That soul is blessed. Look at it in the second way. Happy is every soul that hunger and test after eternal salvation. Because the hunger and test after eternal life is righteousness. It is the right thing to do, my brothers and sisters. The right thing to do is that a soul in this body who thirst after, who hungry after eternal life. It is the right thing to do. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Hallelujah. This morning, if your soul thirst after God, thirst after what? Eternal life. Hungry after eternal life. Desire after eternal life. You will be filled because it is the right thing to do. Whilst you live in this earth, whilst you live in this body, the right thing to do is to what? Is to ask for eternal life in the flesh. Praise the name of the living God. Isaiah 41 verse 17. Please, let's go to Isaiah 41 verse 17. 
He says, The poor and the needy search for water, but there, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst, but I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Praise the name of the living God. This comes to the conclusion and it includes all humanity. When humanity or the people of God has experienced great poverty and in need, and when you cannot find water or bread, physically and spiritually for your soul, then you will see how it is to be thirsty after water or after food. But God says, when the situation comes like that, then it is good because he will not forsake you. Hallelujah. If you read Exodus 17 verses going, God told Moses, just touch the rock and water will flow out for the people to drink and so that they will live. So you will come to a point where you are hungry for food, spiritual food, the word of God, you are hungry for eternal life and you are lucky in the flesh, this is the time you have to come to God. This is the time you have to look into the heaven and say, God, save me. Because he said, I am the God of Israel. It means that he has performed one miraculous sign for them. So the, 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 the way he did not forsake them in the wilderness, he is not going to forsake you. He will not forsake you in anything. Praise the name of the living God. So we have testimonies and promises in the word of God that you must relate to and, and then put your mind and your trust in that word that which you might be saved. Praise the name of the living God. So my brothers and sisters, no matter how your condition look like, even when you are, you are on a sick bed about to die, just give your life to Jesus Christ and miraculously you will be healed. You will recover. Simultaneously, you will stand on your feet and glorify God because he, God doesn't want you to die in your sin. That is why he came in the flesh in the first place to know your weakness in the flesh so that he can atone for you, so that he can give you strength. When you are weary, he gives you strength. When your strength is gone, he increases the strength of the weak. Praise the name of the living God. So I can only recommend the Lord Jesus Christ to you. Because, because it is a great testimony. It is a great testimony for all who believes because it is by grace. Amen? It is not as if human being doesn't know what he is doing so he became a Christian or we became a Christian. No, it is by divine power, the power of the Supreme Holy Spirit that convinced the soul in this body to see the glory of God in a person of Jesus Christ, to receive him. And then we have seen our sin nature and we ask for forgiveness of sin through his blood. We have received forgiveness and now we are hot, reconciled to God in righteousness and holiness through the Lord Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is the wisdom of God, the power of God, the heart, the righteousness and holiness of God and our salvation. So I can only recommend the Lord Jesus Christ to you that you will not pay for your eternal salvation. You will come hungry. You will come thirsty. You will come desiring. And he meets you at the edge of dying. And he supplies all your need to you. Especially your divine salvation. Your eternal salvation. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is still calling someone. Oh, hallelujah. The way he rescued me, he will rescue you like that. Amen. The way he rescued the thief on the cross in the last minute. He said today you shall be with me in paradise. Jesus is still calling people out there. Today if you are here his voice come and have a change of mind. He said to Zacchaeus today salvation has come unto your household. Zacchaeus said Lord today and now I have changed my mind. If I've stolen someone, I'll return their things back to them. Just change your mind, my brothers and sisters, concerning God and concerning who God is in the flesh. God became flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, this is the kingdom we have received. That the eternal God, the creator of heaven and earth, became flesh to know your weakness in the flesh so that he can intercede for you 
before his holy name in heaven. Hallelujah. The name, the holy name of God in heaven cannot tolerate sin. So he has to come and work out your salvation in the flesh so that he can plead before his holiness name in heaven. Hallelujah. And therefore, you must accept Jesus Christ. You don't have any other choice. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There's no name given unto humanity that which we must be saved, except through the name Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. If you like, argue it. Say there is no God, there's no life after death. When you are about to die in your sick bed, you will see it before your eyes, and you will be shaking, and you, you will fear to go into that darkness, total darkness. But the Lord is merciful. When this time comes and you remember the name of Jesus Christ and say, Lord, save me by your mercy. Save me by your grace. The Lord Jesus Christ is there already. By his Holy Spirit, in the twinkle of an eye, your sins will be forgiven you. But what good work have you done whilst you live? What good work have you done, have we done whilst we live in the flesh? So there's no reward for you. So it is good now that you have life in the flesh to change your mind and do good works because God originally created you to do good works in him. Amen? The Bible says that God's handiwork, it means God's handwork, work out good things. So when you are saved, you must work good things. You must do good things. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. God Almighty will not forsake you. Come to him through the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to him through the cross, the blood of Jesus Christ, the burial and the resurrection. In fact, I will not follow any prophet. I will not follow any God who has not come in the flesh and died and resurrected. Because where is the hope of the resurrection when you yourself have not resurrected? Amen? That is why you must come to the God who has given you example that he is above every created thing. That even death, who surpasses every created thing, he conquered death and he resurrected with power and glory. This is our good example that we must place our faith, our hope, our trust in the one who resurrected and lived forever. He said, look, I was dead, now I am alive forever and ever and i hold the keys to eternal life and the key to the grave so when you believe in the lord jesus christ your salvation is secured your eternal life is secured the grave cannot hold you down hallelujah if death could not hold him down as far as he is in you you are in him when you die the bible says at the trumpet at the twinkle of an eye just an eye blink like that a vast power will be invested into the soil and even when your body is decayed they will come together and you'll be transformed to meet the lord jesus christ in the in the in, in the cloud this is the power the working miracle of the lord jesus christ because he is the alpha and the omega the creator of everything hallelujah why should i go and put my faith in someone some human being who will die all the prophets have died any great men of God or kings and queens that has come on the earth, they have all died. Except the living one, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the son of the living one. God became a son. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. He became flesh to work out your salvation in the flesh. Put your trust in him, in him and have faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2 to 3. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. The verse 3. With joy, you will draw eternal water from the wells of salvation. Jesus Christ is that well of salvation. Hallelujah. He is the fountain of living waters. He is the fountain of eternal life because he created himself and created everything else. Jesus cannot be compared. Hallelujah. It is not by words we are saying this. It is by divine revelation, vision and experience, encounter. 
Otherwise, our faith is feeble. So the Lord calls, he reveals and unfolds things to you so that your faith must be rooted in the agape. Your faith must be rooted in what? The agape, the rock of ages. Who never shakes? My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Receive him into your heart. Jesus is Lord, meaning God Almighty. He has divine authoritative uh, ownership of everything. Confess him with your mouth and you will be saved. Hallelujah. Finally, John 6, 53 to 54. <clears throat> John 6, 53 to 54. It says, Jesus said to them, very truly, you see, anywhere you see, verily, very truly, is the absolute. It means the absolute. Nothing can change. In all eternity, nothing will change. In the realm of the earth, nothing will change. This is what it means. Very truly, I tell you, Unless you eat the flesh of my of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. Praise the name of the living God. This is it. You see, when you go to a juju man or a priest or satanic court. They will give you some concussion and tie some gauze and things for you to come and hide in your hand. Or you get some paper, you chew it, you drink inside yourself. Ask yourself, will this juju man give you all their powers? They will not do that. Because if they give you all their powers, you can intend to come and kill them so that you will now have all their powers. So no juju man, no occult person will give you any demonic power and give you all. So, you are not absolute protected by any juju you have. You are not. You can be powerful in satanic uh, 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 incantation or power, but your power is limited. So now, my brothers and sisters, for Jesus Christ, the God of heaven and on earth, to give us all power over every influence of the devil, this is how he did it. In fact, himself... As a body. In that body is his life. Supreme, eternal power life in his body. So he gives you this body to eat and give you the blood to drink because his life is in the heart, the blood. Every life of every living creature is in the blood. So he gives you his blood and his body. So when you eat him inside yourself, you are God career you have god in you and you have all power in heaven on earth beneath that is why it is written christ is what christ is what christ is the supreme power in bodily form and you are baptized in him in spiritual body and you have been made to drink the same spirit with him so that you also in the flesh will have power above satan who have power above all fallen angels because the name and the power you have received into yourself is above every power in heaven or net beneath. Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty in you. Praise the name of the living God. That is why you must eat the, uh, the, uh, the body of Jesus Christ as a token of what? The Lord's Supper. You must drink the fruit wine representing his blood so that you will have eternal life. At the last day, the way he resurrected, he will raise you again. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus Christ is Lord of Lords, God of Gods, King of Kings. Praise the name of the living God. Jesus Christ is the rock of the, of the ages, the beginning and the end. The living one, the resurrection and the life. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus is the wellspring of what? Wisdom. Jesus is the gateway of knowledge. Jesus is the bridge to eternal heaven. There's no one 
And there's no other way except through Jesus Christ. He's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient Savior. For all eternity, Jesus is Lord of Lords, King of Kings. My brothers and sisters, come to him and he will save you and save all of your family. He starts with one person. So when he starts with you, then he's going to use you to transform and save all. Because the Lord always asks, what do you have in your hand? He called a person to save the entire generations. Praise the name of the living God. That is why you are chosen. You are a chosen person to transform the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I bring this session to an end. I'm about to pray for someone. But if you are listening and you are not... If you are listening and you are not so mature in the Lord... You are not faithful to the Lord, to his scriptures, to his word. Okay? I'm come to pray with people and you should also join in this prayer. To refresh and renew your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you are listening, you have not received Jesus Christ as Lord God Almighty in the flesh. Then please, do this. This is the confirmation we have all done. It is by your will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's by your will. So all over the world, if you are listening and you are watching, please say this after me. To save your soul, when you die, you go to heaven. And when the Lord re um, renew this corruption of this world, create a new world, you come back, back with him. Amen. So please say this after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know I am a sinner. I acknowledge my sins. Please forgive me all my sins, all my wrongdoing. Forgive me in your eternal holy blood. Have mercy upon my soul. Have mercy upon my soul. Save my soul from eternal condemnation. Save my soul from eternal condemnation. Today, I have raised my hands and I surrender. I surrender to you, O oh Lord Jesus, that you are my Lord and Savior, that when you come, I will be resurrected with you. In the name of Jesus, may your Holy Spirit, may your Holy Spirit empower me to live uprightly to your glory in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. If you have said this, you are saved supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Angels are rejoicing right now because a person has been transformed in, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have done that and you don't have any church to attend, you may call us and the number is there and then we will attend to you and we teach you the basis of uh, Christianity, the basis of of salvation of Jesus Christ. The Lord richly bless you. Amen. All right. People of God, I want to pray once again for you and then we'll continue the Lord's Supper on our Zoom platform. Please, if you want to pray with us, we pray private prayers on Zoom. We cannot do this on the, uh, yeah, uh, on the YouTube and the Facebook. So we pray these prayers on Zoom platform so you can join us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nevertheless, let me say a short prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. The message is, come to the living God who gives you eternal life. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I give you praise. You who created the whole universe for your praise and glory, we thank you in the name of Jesus. You have given us the name of Jesus to invoke a higher and a holy name in heaven. Jesus, we give a praise. Now, I bring to you all your people, your people you have called out from the world. I bring them into your glorious authority, into your mighty authority in Jesus' name. Protect them from every arrow of the day of the night. Protect them from the influence of the evil one. Save their soul from perishing in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, anyone who is sick on the edge of dying in their sickness, at hospitals, 
at prayer camps, at juju, uh, 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 occultic places. My Lord, my God, I bow before your supreme glory. I bow before your majestic holiness that you are God of creative miracles. You are God of miracle that that person will be saved to receive your salvation. Let them be saved. Let them be healed. Let them be healed. Let them be healed from their sick bed in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, your soul, your spirit, your body, your mind is cleansed. May the blood of Jesus cleanses every unwanted thing in your body. Every hidden sickness in your body. May the blood of Jesus, every cancer of the blood, of the mind, two more in the blood, in the marrows, in your stomach, supernaturally, by the eternal holy blood of Jesus, I flush them out in Jesus' name. My Lord, my God, prove great and great and mighty in their sick bed, may they receive divine power. May they receive divine power, divine glory, supreme Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, go right now into their sick bed. Go right now into their body. Heal them in the name of Jesus. If there's any pain in your body, in your spinal cord, in your knees today, the reason for the pain and the causes of the pain in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, it is it is gone out of you right now in Jesus' name. May it disappear right now in Jesus' mighty name. I give a praise. My Lord, my God, if you can give us eternal life, then you can also give us physical healing. I thank you and I bless your holy name for saving our soul and healing all diseases to your glory. Thank you for an answer prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So just continue to believe what the word of God has said. Trust that. All that, that is all you need. Hallelujah. The Lord wish you bless you. Please do share this broadcast to bless others. The Lord wish you bless you for your faithfulness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Now receive the priestly blessings. May the Lord of hosts bless you and keep you. May the Lord of hosts shine his favor upon you. May the Lord of hosts give you peace. Expand your course of operation. Expand your territory. Give you joy. Your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. Your water is blessed. Your food is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, go in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. And we love you with the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bye-bye.